Hello and welcome back to my channel or if you're new then hello, welcome. As you can see in today's title, I am back with another Shein haul. Shocked? No, not really. Please also just excuse how crazy my hair is uh, today. Yeah, today is another Shein haul and again as usual this is kindly gifted and sponsored by Shein. Shein have, as of today as I'm filming this, the 25th of September, have launched their Rock the Runway on their website app like everywhere. So I was kindly asked to pick a few items off the website to showcase what I would get from Rock the Runway and let me tell you something, it was hard to pick just a few items because if you go check out the website you will know that a lot of their stuff is it's just amazing i wanted to get everything off the website but sadly i couldn't because it would probably break my bank account if i did but yeah head on over to the website or the app go give them a check out i have a discount code for you and it is sabria15 i will also put it on screen and in the description box below without further ado we'll just dive straight into the sheen haul but just quickly before we do make sure you give this video a thumbs up subscribe down below if you're not ready and let's just get straight into the video. I have this massive bag of items, literally loads, and I've also got another item here that obviously won't fit in the bag. So I picked a lot of really good stuff and hopefully you will like it. Even though it's a runway sort of like theme, I didn't really pick up any dresses because I've got tons and tons and tons and tons of dresses. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to go for a different kind of style. I'm going to go for a bit of, you know, business rock runway. So I've got like blazers and stuff like that. But yeah, you will see it all and like usual, obviously this will be a try on haul. So yeah, let me just get everything out of the bag <laughs> see what i'm working with There's a lot of stuff <laughs> i got a few pinky bits as you can see so some that are still kind of summer then some browns which are obviously autumn so it's a mix and match of everything to be honest with you so i will start with the accessories first just because it's easier to show you and then we can move on to the rest of the bits which you will see first item i picked up was a bag because obviously you need a cute little handbag to rock the runway with and i'm hoping i know for a fact this is just going to go with every single outfit that i've got um, um, just because it's a cute staple black simple handbag it's a very small so this is my phone and it just fits my phone but it is quite wide which i like so i can fit loads of stuff in there as well um and it does come with a strap which i very rarely use i rather just hold the handle but yeah it's just plain black both sides just a standard handbag it's simple so the bag was £8.25 and it comes in a load of range of different colors i think probably about 10 different colours but black goes with everything so I went with black. That's the first item that I picked up. The next item I picked up was a pair of shoes and I have wanted these kind of shoes for the longest time but I am that kind of person that I don't really buy shoes often. I would much rather buy clothes than shoes even though shoes technically you know you have to wear them and you know etc. I thought you know what I saw them on the website this was one of the first things I was like nah I'm getting that. I am buying that I'm adding that to my basket. I haven't tried them on yet. I got some square wear block heels in white but they're the type that you tie up around your leg that everybody seems to be wearing right now and I just love the square core part of it I just love it I love this I love this trend that's going around at the minute and white I thought you know what white goes with everything I know they can get dirty pretty easily but hopefully I'm gonna keep them white and clean um i did look at getting like a green pair because i know a lot of people like that is sort of like in the trend at the minute where you like wear an all black outfit and then you got extravagant with some like green or orange heels or something like that but you know what i thought i'll try these out first if i like these then you know I'll add them to my basket and I will buy them. So yeah, I got these. I got them in a size 5 which are 39, which I'm not quite sure what that is. I think that's Europe, I think. I'm not quite sure. But yeah, I went with a size 5 because that's my usual size. Um, I'm hoping they fit. And it's definitely one of my favourites so far. Well, I know I've seen everything I've got. It's definitely my favourite. And they were £20.75p to the exact pence love that so now we're going to move on to the clothes that i picked up so yeah i mainly picked up blazers i think i've got about four blazers a jacket not sure what i'm going to wear with these items yet so i'm just going to roll with it we'll just by the time you've seen the drown clips i will have got the outfits together and worn them obviously i'm just going to go through every single item i won't really explain how i would style it because i'm not quite sure at this moment in time but yeah let's just go through everything i don't think this is actually a blazer to be fair yes this is one of the dresses I did pick up and it's actually a really 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 cute dress and it does make me feel a bit like it's not it says it's from a sexy range but I wouldn't really class it like when I wear it I don't
don't feel like, ooh, sexy. I feel like, ooh, business, if that makes sense. <laughs> but yeah, it's this really red dress. This is obviously quite Christmassy and autumnal because it's quite a dark colour. But it's got the puffy sleeves. Like, that's how puffy it is. Like, your whole entire shoulder is supposed to fit in that section. Then, obviously, I can't see it. You've got, obviously, your stitching detailing to show where, like, your boobs sit. Then, it's obviously got... I can't show you this. For some reason, it's just not working out for me today. There we go. So, then, you've got some stitching, like, down here to show, like, where your belly button is. I'm not quite sure. And then, it's a long dress dress with a slit at the side with a nice belt to go around it. It's a cute belt to suck you in. I love a dress that comes with a belt and it's, I'd probably say it's like three quarter length dress. I'm not quite sure. But yeah, I actually really like this. I love it. I think this would be really good for like a wedding or like, I don't know, work maybe. Um, If you work in a corporate job, I do, but don't. I work at a small company where we just don't dress up. I went in, you know them really nice trousers that everybody wears from Zara? I'll try find a picture and put it on screen. I went into work in them and a blazer. Bear in mind, I'm going to work, I got to work in a blazer every day I just wear jeans normally and everybody complimented on me and how smart I looked <laughs> that's how corporate I work for so yeah wouldn't get away with wearing a nice dress like this to be honest with you but I freaking love it and I assume I got it in a small yes got it in a small which is about a size eight nothing else really to say about that one that dress was £17.49 <laughs> We'll go on to a another dress actually. This is the last dress that I picked up and I like it because I have tried it on. The only thing is the colour looks very different to the website. That's the colour. <laughs> Let me try to my brightness down so you can see it a bit better. That's that's the colour. It's just very, very pink in your face. Not what I was expecting at all. But this is sort of supposed to be from like the sexy range. So obviously it basically looks like a corset at the top with obviously your breast. And it does have pads in as well. So you don't have to wear a bra, which I love. So yeah, so it has the corset type. And it has got the metal in that bit and that bit. And then all the way down, it's not a nice short dress. And the thing that I like about it is it, it's lace. And then underneath, it actually has obviously... Your underlying garment area but it doesn't come it doesn't come all the way down it just comes down to about there and that's how much you've got left so underneath there you can see like all your skin the only thing about this is there are no zips or anything so you have to squeeze into this you have to like pull it up it is a tight squeeze and obviously the color is a bit out there maybe i should have picked up in a different color i'm not entirely sure because this dress alone is just stunning but um yeah i love it i think it's cute i don't have a size in that oh it's got a tag all the way at the bottom though. This is from the She in Bay range. Always turning heads. And as usual, yep, I picked this up in a small, which again is a size eight. And that was £16.99. So quite a bargain for a nice dress. next item is a jacket and as you can see it is very autumnal and I freaking love it but I think I may have got it in a size I shouldn't have I think I went up a size just so like I could wear baggy jumpers underneath it but I think it might already be oversized because it kind of drowns me but you will see it better on the try on clip and let me know your thoughts below like what you think about it so I did get this in a medium because most of my coats I got up a size so all my coats I go to a medium I love this jacket freaking love it I love the colour of it. But then when you look inside and it's a yellow inside, mm, I know people are going to see the inside because you're going to be wearing it. But when you're actually showing people like this, it <laughs> looks ridiculous and it stinks. So I need to get my scent all over it. But yeah, I basically got myself a brown leather jacket because why not? I thought, you know, I've seen loads of people in like brown leather jackets and stuff and I thought it's very autumnal. I don't know, I think it's cute. I think I could style it a couple of ways to be honest with you. And the model kind of sold it to me so I thought, you know what, why not? I've only ever got, I've only got one black leather jacket but I can't wear like jumpers and stuff underneath it because I've got it in my actual size and it's really tight wearing just a t-shirt underneath it. So that's why I wanted to get another one, you know, I love my leather jackets. But I like this one because on like collar part, 
it's got buttons on there um, but the buttons don't obviously go anywhere and of course obviously it has a zip and again on that side but then it also has a belt <laughs> I forgot what that was called then it also has a belt that you can tie around yourself as well if you get a bit chilly did I also forget to mention I think I did it is a cropped denim jacket but obviously it's a full length arms so yeah I don't know I just loved it and let me know what you think when you've seen the try on clip let me know if it's if I need to send it back and get a new size basically let's see so yeah I got that in a medium which I think is a size 10 I think so that jacket was £23.49 which is about standard I think for well I probably not I don't know I don't buy leather jackets I'm not quite sure but I thought that was a really good price anyway and the quality as well like it is super thick and yeah, I know it's gonna keep me warm during autumn. So now I've just got three items left, which I think are all blazers. I'm gonna go with the first blazer, which is an autumnal one, and I'm I'm just gonna say now I freaking love this jacket but again I went up a size because I thought you know it's a, kind of like an autumn wear I'm gonna wear it when it's a bit you know chillier and colder yeah maybe I should have stuck to my normal size because again I don't know if it is an actual oversized jacket and I just didn't read the spec properly because it practically drowns me so I joke around to my partner and say I look like an old grandpa wearing this kind of jacket but I freaking love it so <laughs> this is the jacket I think this would be so cute in autumn and I know so many people i think autumn is definitely my type of season because i like to wrap up my jumpers and stuff but i don't think that autumn fashion likes me because i don't think i suit anything if i keep pressing myself to wear these autumn clothes i'll get it in my head that i actually suit them if that kind of makes sense this is the next item which is a lovely lovely brown blazer and it is super thick like it weighs a lot so i know it's going to keep me warm but yeah do you see what i mean by it's kind of like a granddad blazer it's cute though i love it um it's got buttons on the arms i freaking love it i think it's got it's got padded shoulders it's quite a long jacket it does have pockets there but i think obviously you can't get into the pockets but i think if i try like take the stitching away somehow i'm not sure how though because you can't actually see it and you can't see see the stitching in there because i really want to use the pockets i think they'd be really good and again obviously it has your buttons to obviously do it up and i love the tortoiseshell buttons they're my favorite kind of buttons freaking love this jacket it is honestly so cute maybe when i style it a bit better it'll look a lot better on me and it won't look like i'm a grandpa that is the next item got it in a medium which is obviously not my size but again i want to oversize it because i see all these people like on instagram and like pinterest and stuff like that wearing all these oversized blazers and they're looking so bloody good in them <laughs> that i'm trying to channel that myself not working out just yet but yeah and this blazer was 30 £36.99 which obviously is about average for a blazer. Blazers are so expensive right now. They have been for a while which is why I decided to go down the sort of like businessy route because I, I have like six different blazers in my wardrobe and I freaking live in blazers like during the week and when I go out I wear blazers so I thought you know what rock the runway is my kind of style wearing blazers. Why not channel my style down the runway? <laughs> is a sort of blazer it looked really good on the model and i have seen people like people who i'm friends with on instagram wearing this kind of jacket again i think i just need to style it because before i just literally had my hair shoved up in a in a messy bun no makeup on pajamas on the bottom half so i didn't really style it properly so that's probably why it didn't look that good on me but yeah we'll see what it looks like on the try and clip but it's another blazer and it's a bloody pink blazer i freaking love this color but if you look it's like a, a pink tweed and i love it i love it it's just brilliant but it's got bits of like silver you know like when you put on your christmas tree you put like that silver like tinselly like really thin stuff like you just throw it on your christmas tree maybe not but that's why i do <laughs> oh that's what my mum did anyway it's got bits of that in the um in the in the tweed i don't know if you can see that i freaking love it obviously it's long sleeves and it has your little tweed buttons which match and i think that's so cute but yeah the thing that makes this blazer can i hold it up it's a bit like a corset blazer so once you do it up it's sort of like goes to like a point so the back stops like up here 
and then the front still continues going down to a point. You'll see it much better on the try and clip. I can't really show you much. Oh, I'm trying not to move too much because I went to the gym yesterday and I'm in a lot of pain. So I'm trying to just stay in the same spot, but show you, but <laughs> it's not working out. But I don't know if you can see them. It's got them kind of clips to clip it, like clip you together. Just so freaking hard to use, but you know, we're rolling with it. So that's the next item I picked up and I just, I think this is definitely a staple in a wardrobe. I picked this up in a small, which is obviously size eight because obviously I wanted it to fit me perfectly. And this blazer costs £30.99 as well, which I think is a bargain and I freaking love it. to the last item which makes me so freaking sad obviously the last item is a blazer again because told you blazers are my kind of style this blazer jingles <laughs> it's brilliant so i know this isn't really an autumn kind of blazer but i saw it on the website and i thought i need that blazer i'm having it literally my kind of blazer i'm sorry this is gorgeous again i did get it oversized on so i don't think the oversizedness fits like sort of suits my style but we're gonna roll with it like usual this is a blazer that i picked up let me sit back so you can see okay it's so cute but it's so oversized and it drowns me but yeah it's this cute little colored tweed long sleeves and the things that keep jiggling is the buttons the gold buttons i love the gold detailing on this blazer like usual it's got padded shoulder pads in there yeah and obviously you've got your gold buttons on the front again it does have pockets but these pockets actually open so you can put stuff inside yeah freaking cute but yeah it, as you can see like it's really freaking long like it goes past my bum it's that long i'm not sure if it's supposed to be like that but again it is super thick because it's super weighty but in this kind of weather that we're coming up to I need that. I need that kind of energy in my life. Um, I think I picked this up in a medium, but I can't seem to find the label. Yep, so I picked this up in a medium and this blazer costs £36.49. So again, like your average price for a blazer, but it's freaking adorable and cute. leave all the links down below for you guys to go check them out as well because i know some of you will want to pick up some of these bits that is everything that i picked up i really do hope you enjoyed this sheen haul and please do let me know down below like what you think of every single item because that would mean a lot to me because i'm sort of new like into the fashion world and i'm trying to expand my fashion range but i don't know if it's working but it would be really helpful if you could let me know down below so yeah i really do hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a huge thumbs up subscribe down below if you're not ready and i'll see you in my next video bye